Tactical Rock and Roll and Tactical Device Edition. We're going to go over plastic devices. Uh, these are plastic tools, so they're uh, predominantly non-metal in nature. Uh, the majority of these are 100% non-metal. Just a few different options. This is one right here, basically a pressure point device. Uh, it's made by Combat Te Technologies. It does have a key ring assembly on there. Um, it's, it's very deceptive in nature. Uh, most people would not have any idea what this is or what it's used for. But essentially, I believe this to be the top. You would just put your finger in there. And this would work similar to brass knuckles where this would seat right in the palm to absorb the majority of the impact uh, and the pressure so it does not hurt your fingers. You just jab like that and a motion like that in any major muscle group. Um, again, I advocate lots of pressure point devices like the Kubaton. I love the Kubaton, always pushing the Kubaton. Um, the, the best weapons are weapons that people have no idea what they are. So one one plastic device right there. This is a plastic knife, double-edged blade, uh, point. Could be sharpened more, but overall, this will not go off in metal detectors. Do not advocate sneaking anything past a metal detector, uh, but this is possible. And then, this is a version of brass knuckles, but they are plastic. So these are plastic knuckles. They are sold as belt buckles to avoid legal recourse. But a very effective tool. Plastic in nature, again, all plastic. This is a Kubaton that I, review, I have reviewed many times in many videos. Great device. Most people may think this is a bat of some sort, which um, is not its primary use. Uh, it's more of a pressure point device or a finger breaking device. But this one is all plastic. It does have a metal screw and a metal top. Other than that, this one is all plastic. This is what's called an ice scraper. Basically, it does look and function as an ice scraper. I would not use it as that just to keep it sharp, has a sharp edge. Uh, you use it similar to brass knuckles. Hold it in your palm, and then you can either jab, slash, cut, or it is a very effective and also deceptive tool. Since it is plastic and appears as a harmless ice scraper, you would not be questioned for having this in your car, but a very effective tool, especially if you sharpen it. Uh, th this is a heart attack, similar in nature to the ice scraper. The edge is serrated, has a sharp tip. Uh, you can put this on your key ring. I don't know if I'd use that as my key ring. I feel it would wear in your pocket, jab you in your leg, um, but an option. This is an option. Um, again, uh, this would work like brass knuckles, this seating in your palm, not to hurt your fingers. Uh, very effective. This is just a basic spike, all plastic. This is a nasty little tool. Nice stapling right here. A triangle blade. So that would leave a nasty little wound. This is all plastic, so it really just has devious purposes, but an option. Something to look out for. The Brutus keychain. This is a Brutus to keychain or Brutus to Bulldog keychain. Essentially, this is a plastic keychain device. As you can see here in black, comes in many different colors. Uh, green, purple, pink, brown, uh, white. Um, I like matte black, as always, everything tactical. So this works similar to the brass knuckles, where it sits in your palm, and you stress, as long as it sits properly in your palm, and your palm and your arm absorbs the pressure, it will not hurt your fingers. Also, it works as a coupon with a pressure point device or any type of pressure point self-defense instrument, as well as it's sharp enough you can even slash with this. I also did a review on the Brutus keychain, so definitely check that out um, in one of my other videos. Other than that, just, just an overview of different plastic devices. Uh, Tactical Rock and Roll at gmail.com. Uh, please let me know.